right, good day. I'm wanting to um, talk with you today about something I see happen all the time, all right? So let's say you're walking with your horse and you want to make a left, right? So I'm on the right side and I want to make a left. What I'll see people do all the time is this. Okay, so make three rights in an effort to make a left. Instead of just making a left, we, if we want to make a left, we want to just make a left, right? We don't have to be big or predatory, we just want to make a left. <laughs> the same thing is if you're on the right side and you want to, you want to make a, or I'm sorry, you're on the left side and you want to make a right, can we just go right? Can we just say, hey, let's go that way? And you see my horse steps right off to the right. But what I mostly see is people want to go that way, and so they do this. Come on, horse. Come on, horse. They do that. Inside of relationship-based horsemanship, where you're actually really communicating with your horse, you can be on the right side and say, "Horse, can we go? Can we go that way?" And the first step should be away. He should say, "Sure, I would love to go. Is this the way you want to go? I would love to do that. There's not a problem at all in the world about that." Oh, and you're so good. Thank you, Smooch. Excuse me. Excuse me. <laughs> good. <laughs> So there's no need to make three lefts in order to make a right, and there's no reason to make three rights in order to make a left. If you want to go left, you go left. If you want to go right, you go right. And if you can't do that with your horse, you need to call me because that's called communication. That's a two-way street of communication. That's, that's what happens in relationship-based horsemanship where it's not about dominance and hierarchy, and it's not just about managing and handling horses. It's about the relationship, it's about communicating. <laughs> Call me. Call me. Call me. Oh, you can call me any, any time. Call me. <laughs>